So I'm, gonna, I'm doing a back to school makeup look, like what I'm gonna be wearing every day. This is me starting to accept that school's coming back. It's painful, okay? It's hard. Second step is actually getting my sleep schedule back. I don't I don't like this. I don't I don't I don't like it at all. So basically this is my natural face. It happens, you know. I'm a human being that has acne, which is actually not on my face as much as it usually is. So part T. Yeah. Okay, anyways, I don't do this like just because I do what? Let's get started. Basically for school, you wanna like trick people into thinking that you look good naturally, but you don't. Or I don't. You probably do. You probably look pretty good. That's my attempt at winking, I'm sorry. At my school, they have a lack of a attractive guy, so I don't have that many people to impress. But anytime I don't wear makeup, they say I look tired. Two fingers I'm not gonna put up because my mom watches these videos. Yes, mom. It was a fist for the other fist. It was a punch, uh, broke punch. That still sounds bad. It was a fist pump. Fist. When you do this to another person. That looks still weird. Continuing. So I'm going to start with the thing that's barely readable. Um, Elf Flawless Face Powder. So I'm putting this under the eyes. Well, basically it makes you look like you sleep. Makeup tutorials are great. Like I said, my sleep regimen isn't what it's supposed to be, but when is it ever? That was sassy. Good job, baby. I'm it's not functions at the moment, I'm sorry. Then I get my foundation. Put the Pure BB Aiden One Beauty Balm. You know this, the BB stuff in my skin tone. Is that all? All over the face where you want to cover things like acne marks that will never go away and you take this beauty blender which you can get places you can get at Walgreens you can get it at Sephora depending how expensive you want to go but this one works and I got it for cheaper so, yeah um, now I get my concealer which I got from a company that I can't read because everything's blurred out I'm guessing Maybelline because I get most of my stuff from Maybelline put that one under the eyes for the same reason you put the other stuff under the eyes some things changed but so does life i'm really inspiring so what was i saying oh yeah got the stuff that sounds wow giving myself a good reputation here then i'm grabbing this thing which i got from a store like a beauty store that was really cheap it's by santi oh it's broken I use this as a contour this color if you happen to have the palette which is really unlikely so then i do the face that you know the face you know the face I always feel like it looks weird in the beginning. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It just looks like I have like some type of face structure. Structure is what I meant to say. Yes, it's structure. That's my foundation routine basically. And now I'm going to do brows, which um, usually I don't do that much too, but today I will because I was curious and I watched videos on it. So let's see if I can actually succeed in something. That sounded sad. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm gonna actually zoom in. I don't know why, I just want to. Just to see if I succeed or fail really close. So first, do whatever you want with your eyebrow. Um, basically I'm just filling it in and the plan is to fill it in with like color that's probably like two shades lighter. I saw this on a video. My bunny's cute, my bunny's very cool. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, anyways. And the other eyebrow, which I had like a pimple in my eyebrow, which was weird. That missed completely. I feel like it's completely out of focus. Probably was this whole time, but I'm not refilming it. I feel like they look better than usual, even though they're like not shaped at all. So now they look filled in, right? Also, I'm just false teaching you. Who would ever do that? Except in every one of my videos, I just kind of improvise, you know? Seems to be something I'm good at on film, but never in life. So here you just kind of blend it. And yeah, so I just took eyeshadow. It seems to be what I do most of the time. Zooming out. Oh, that's zooming in. I am, I'm educated. I broke another one. <laughs> oh, this was my mom's too. Let me just fix that. Fix. Kind of. Maybe not. Okay, this is slightly brighter than my skin tone. Put that under the eyes so it makes it look cleaner or something. I've seen this in a video. I know what I'm talking about. All right, next up, it's Maybelline New York WE208. I don't know. I'm putting it in the corner of my eyes so it looks like I'm awake. And it's also shimmering so I look glamorous at the same time. Isn't it great? I love doing this because it always makes me look like I have a problem. I'm just like this, you know, the whole time. Uh, now I'm doing eyelashes. So I take the Maybelline stuff. Just take whatever one that looks like this because they're both they're like different types. This one's almost out, so I start out with that. I'm gonna zoom in again because I feel like it helps. So I'm on there. Move it from there. Okay. Um, bye. Love you. You're awesome and so cute, especially now you're gonna do this makeup look, except you're probably not going to. I don't know if this helps you at all. Bye.